This is a demonstration of the Smart Draft Plan View Structure Label command. It can be found in the Smart Draft Suite. The Plan View Structure Label command is used to create labels for Civil 3D pipe network structures in Plan View. The command can be found on the Smart Draft tab, Plan View panel, and select this icon or type PVSL. Let's look at the options. The Plan View Structure label has options to label the station. The offset from a alignment can include the diameter of pipes coming in and out of the structure, the rim elevation of the structure, the sump elevation of the structure, the in and out elevations of the pipes going in and out of the structure, if the elevation of the pipes going in and out are equal in elevation, you can instruct the command to join them and just have one label. You can include the name value associated to that structure, and you can include the description. Each one of these options also allows you to add a prefix, such as station, and if you want a space between this prefix and, in this case, station value, you would add the space here. It doesn't automatically put one. Or if you prefer to have a suffix and you want a space between, in this case, station value and the suffix, you have to include that space in the su suffix value. When selecting to label the station, the pipe network has to be associated to an alignment or you need to select an alignment so it can read the station value perpendicular or radial from the center point of the station back to that alignment. What is going to be the precision of that station? The placement relative to the label line. The options would be to have the station value up to three text positions above the leader to three text positions below the leader. Let's put it at one above. You can include an offset value specifying the placement of that value relative to the leader line, a prefix and suffix, the offset precision, and then when it comes to reading the offset value, do you want it to just say plus and minus, minus being left of the alignment, or do you want to prefix it with the civil 3D abbreviation for left or right, depending on the side of the alignment the offset is, or do you want it to add a suffix of the direction relative to the alignment? When it's using any of the elevation values below, what precision will those elevation values be? And when it's reading pipe elevations, what of the five positions of the pipe do you want it to read? The bottom of the pipe, the invert of the pipe, the center of the pipe, the crown, or the top of the pipe. Let's select invert in this case. Do you want to include the pipe diameter? We'll select that just to demonstrate what it looks like. Do you want to have the rim elevation, the sump elevation, placement, prefix, and suffix, pipe in and out, placement, prefix, and suffix, and you'll notice that I do have a space after the IE for invert, and I have a space before the in and out. We're not going to join them. And let's read the name. In our case, all the structures just have a number, so we're prefixing the name with manhole, with a space. We're not going to read the descriptor. And you do have an option of placing up to three notes. Those notes can be prompted so that at each time you place a new label, it will prompt you to type in a note. Selectable, meaning you select some kind of text entity on the screen and it reads the value out of that text entity and places that as the note. Or constant, where you type in the actual value for the note. We're not going to place a note in this example. You can specify a rotation fixed angle or you can specify that angle on the screen. And when you place the label, you use the default layers out of the layer database or can go on the current layer and then what type of layer out of the layer database. The proposed layer, the existing layer, or the demolition layer. Let's use proposed in this particular case. Now it will prompt you to select the pipe network structure. And once you select the structure, now it will ask you to visually place the label. Here I picked that sewer manhole. I will 
Now pick this storm drain manhole. And you can see that I should have included a space after so that when it says invert elevation 11830 in 10 inch, here it gives you the station because there is a alignment associated to this sewer network, this alignment here. It, was, it didn't prompt me to select a alignment, but if it was not associated, it would prompt. We can come in here and reselect those values. Therefore, now cleaning that up, and you have the in and out values of those pipes, the name, and the station. If you did not want that prefix, just remove the prefix. If you don't want the values of the diameter of the pipe, because they're already being shown right there, just remove the checkbox next to show diameter of pipe. If you want to show the rim elevation, you can even do that as well. It probably would have been good to type a, would be good to type in a value there. You can rearrange these by changing their position. If I wanted to change this to one below, rim to one below, in and out to two below and three below and stack them in that order, it is very easy to do that as well. These are dynamic blocks where you can move them around, change their rotation angle. If you want to have them flip from right to left, you can type the change label direction command in SmartRap, select them, and they will move to the other side of the structure. Same with this one here. We can change which direction it goes for drafting cleanup. And if the values change, let's say the manhole is moved, you'll see that the values in the actual label update as well. If you right click and go into the structure properties, you can change the name. You'll see that the name is updated. And there's even commands in Smart Draft like ED for editing text that when you select certain Civil 3D objects, they allow you to edit them as well. So here I can change the name without going into the structures properties dialog box. And you can see that it follows on through both with the profile label and the plan view label. If I were to change the value of the elevation. So here we have the invert value of that pipe, 118.30. If we were to drop that to 118.21, you can see this value that's being read by the label is updated. And this value in a smart draft label in the profile, which we talked about in another video bottom plan view structure bottom label. That concludes the demonstration of the smart draft plan view structure label command. Thank you.